today we're going to talk about lighting and running the Big Green Egg with the DigiQ DX2. It is an electronic control for your Big Green Egg. Very simple controls. You got your pit and your food here. So if uh, you want to set your pit temperature, you hit that button and set it. Hit, set your food temperature, press that button, use the up or down. That's pretty much it. There's a number of other controls. You can control the notifications um, as far as when it beeps and how it beeps. You can control how quick the device drops the temperature um, after the food has reached its desired temperature. Basic operation, um, set the two temperature levels you want. It'll work to bring the temperatures right in line with where you want it. Uh, and that's it. And it'll let you know when it's done. There's four connection points to it. The left of the four is the connection that you plug into your standard wall outlet. The second connection from the left is the control that goes to the blower unit, which is this unit right here. The third connection is the temperature probe to the big green egg pit. And the fourth connection is the food probe. So if we follow the line there. That's the connection for the pit temperature. It's just a little alligator clip. Um, that reads the temperature of the actual grill. And then you have your standard meat probe thermometer device as well. The blower unit is called the Pit Viper. It's basically a fan. Um, I don't know if you can see inside of there, there's the little uh, uh, fan unit inside and there is also a damper so if you look at it right here I've got my finger on the end of the damper right now the damper is closed as I push this slide gate it opens the damper up obviously when you're running it you want to have it open uh, when you're starting it you want to have it completely open when you're running uh, low and slow temperatures in the 250s you have to dampen it by perhaps a third, and that helps regulate the, uh, the flow of air. And you can kind of see those marks right there. There's two lines showing. When it's a third close, there's three lines showing. That tells you that the damper is completely open. That's the condition that you want to fire up your grill. The final component of the DigiQ is the vent... Uh, adapter that goes into the bottom of the egg. So we have a rubber stopper that is the way that the uh, item is stored. And then we have the slidable sleeve that fills the gap um, in your vent opening there. So it's very simple really. Just slide it in. You slide the sleeve up so it fills the gap. Push it all the way to the left and then just slide your, your door over it and that the installation of that. Then we take the Pit Viper blower unit. It's got a rubber gasket right here. It just slides right into the vent opening. It is pretty tight because you want it airtight. Just make sure that's all snug. And then have our DigiQ control unit. This, um, I haven't mounted this adapter yet. It's a metal plate. Um, can mount on the frame of your big green egg um, or up top, wherever you want it to go. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to mounting it yet. I haven't picked my best location. So mine is loose at the moment. Then you have your two probes. You have your meat probe, pretty self-explanatory, you stick it in the meat just like any temperature reading. And then you have your alligator clip. So what I read online and, and made sense to me is when you stick the meat probe in the meat, then you just clip the alligator clip right to the end of the end of the probe. And um, it um, measures the temperature of the pit. So before I plug in the 
Pit Viper or the DigiQ. I'm going to go ahead and light the coals as I've uh, demonstrated in my other blog. This burns matic lighter with the um, big green egg lighter blocks. Uh, works very, very well. All right, we've got our fire going. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the pit viper as it comes alive. I uh, just want to point out, just to make sure that all these four connections into the DigiQ are firmly established. Um, one problem I had when connection wasn't totally in and it doesn't work very good that way. So you want to program your pit. You just hit the pit button. I'm going to hold that down. And then you set your food probe by hitting the food button. I am just going to set that. I'm going to leave the food probe hanging out because I'm not going to poke it into my bread. So it really doesn't matter that much. I'll just set it at 200 degrees. It'll never get there, which is fine because it'll just hold the pit temperature. So hit pit again. And looks like 475 is the top temperature it will accept. So when it's telling you which um, when the blower is running a little red dot will appear below the blower when it's displaying the food temperature a red dot will display below the food label there uh, and when it's ramping up a little red dot will appear below that so again the operation quite simple and in my experience so far has been extremely effective so once that engages it will fire up that fan and get the air moving into the big green egg. Because air is fuel. So you've got your lump charcoal in there, never use briquettes. Um, that's your one source of fuel, and air is your next source. The pit viper van fan is now blowing. So the blower is kicked on, and you can see the difference in the display. The blower light is flashing, telling you that the blower is running and it has taken control and it's going to bring that pit up to temperature. So as that blower is kicked on, you can see the smoke coming out. It's moving air through that egg, providing fuel to that fire, getting that temperature cranked up. All right, the blower is running and we're approaching our 475, at which point the DigiQ will shut down and modulate the blower to maintain the 475 throughout the duration of the cook. So that wraps up this session on the Big Green Egg DigiQ DX2 by Barbecue Guru with the Pit Viper. As you can see, as we get towards 450 degrees, the fan begins modulating and the process is complete for the preheat and starting of the Big Green Egg. Thanks again for joining this session with Kuban Lumber's Handy Hints for the Big Green Egg.